Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Social media would be better if it wasn't so political. There was a time when social media was, by and large, a place where people shared details about their personal lives in an exaggerated manner, with some believing it was necessary to post the little things of everyday life. Compared to the with the advent of social media, these could almost be called the good times. Today, platforms like Twitter and Facebook have become echo chambers in which political views are propounded, and where there is all too often a lack of courtesy for dissenting opinions. On the subject of politics die courtesy and decency on social media, warned Craig Barkax, professor of business law and ethics in the Masters in Executive Leadership and MBA programs at the Nau School of Business at the University of San Diego. Part of the problem lies in fact that we have become accustomed to sharing too much on social media, and only in recent years has that sharing moved into politics. What is more, the platforms actively encourage this type of interaction. We re anonymous, so why not blurt out every thought that comes to mind? It feels cathartic, said James Bailey, professor of leadership at George Washington University School of Business. In many ways, social media is just a digital version of the original soapbox pundits who first appeared in London's Hyde Park in the 1870s at Speaker's Corner, where many gather to discuss religion, politics and other hot topics of the world to be discussed later. The madmen preached their political messages. Some listened, some didn't he, Bailey said. But that didn't he stop these crusaders righteous or not from taking the stage. Similarly, today's social media platforms are perfectly tailored for desperately uninformed actors who choose to remain anonymous and then retreat back home to polite company. The problem is that politicians listen to social media, where they're easy to analyze but hard to interpret. Anne Washington, assistant professor of data policy in IUS, 